Welcome back to Patrick's video two. We're gonna be skipping the cubicle today, putting that off for a little bit. And instead we're gonna focus on the leather working area. I wanna do a little leather working. I wanna make a new uh, card holder for myself because it's all about me. And that means I gotta clear this up and I don't just wanna pile it, I wanna organize this part that as much as I can and then uh, do a quick little card holder. So let's get started. So as you can see, this is a mess uh, to not use profanities. And it should only take about, you know, 15 minutes, I think, to, to really get this all set, so. My wife had picked up this little hanging uh, light here. I'm gonna see if we can get that set up. There's already hooks set up right here and I think that's kind of perfect for where I want it. Wow, perfect fit. Those hooks were here when I got out of here. Hey. Look at that. It works. Let's get a zoomed out shot. Hey, that's a lit up leather working spot. So it is workable. Clean enough to, to do a little, little small thing quickly. And so that's what we're gonna do. Gonna set up some bins over here, middle organization, and then just get to it. So these are basically all of my leather working tools. In a nutshell. Definitely nothing fancy, but I have been able to make some really cool stuff that I don't think uh, has turned out too terribly. So we're going to do a little something today as well. So this right here is what we are going to make. Just a little card holder. I don't like a wallet. I like to keep it really uh, thin. And so this is what I'm going to make another one of. And as you can see by the impression, I generally, if I do have cash, I may just keep it just like that and it stays super slim. But today, we have some uh, exotic leather, I guess. So this is the leather we have. And this is ostrich leg. And I think it just has a really cool pattern. Uh, I don't know how durable it is or anything like that. It's very thin. So it's going to need to be glued onto a thicker piece of leather before we stitch it. But I think it's going to make a really cool piece. You can see. Just, I don't know. I think it's really pretty. So to start off with, I'm just going to lop off uh, two larger pieces than I need. And I'm going to take those two larger pieces and glue them to two larger pieces as well of some thicker leather and let those uh, dry for uh, a few minutes and, and bond. And then we can kind of cut it to shape and, and measure to what I, what I want. Now I generally do just use an X-Acto knife. I have a sturdier one than this, but I don't really know where it is right now. So, just gonna... make sure once you start cutting, you can't go back. So make sure what you like. Now my concern with this is I don't think this is quite large enough. 
I think I'm going to cut from here. And I think that'll also be cool because it'll be two different textures of the ostrich leg to kind of showcase. Now, I'm not super happy about this, but I think I'm going to use uh, this piece of leather right here. I'm not super sure what it is. It's some type of oil tanned leather. It's the same leather I used for my current card holder, and it, it, I really like it. It, it patinas very well, and uh, you know, it, uh, it just wears very well, but, the only kind of plain leather I have that, that has any like sturdiness to it other than this is this uh, double shoulder right here. And the double shoulder is very thick and uh, kind of defeats the purpose of making a thin card holder. This is, is too flimsy and this is, you know, uh, again, another type of oil tan. And so I think I'm gonna just use this it might end up looking really cool though with the kind of two-tone effect. I'm trying to think of how to maximize the use of this, but not sure it quite matters. Mazel tov. This is what you run into when you do not have your shop completely set up and cleaned. So now what I'm gonna do is just kind of trace where this lays out so I don't end up applying glue all over the place because it can get pretty messy. And from here, there's nothing to do to the suede side of the ostrich leg, but I am gonna scuff up this. And they do sell scuffers you know, just a rough piece of metal, you can scratch it up. But I've had very good luck with just using an awl and just kind of scraping it. Uh, it's probably not great for the awl. And when I say probably not, I mean, it's definitely not great for the awl. But this thing's uh, sharp as a tack, sharp as an awl. Uh, I use it for this all the time. <laughs> So now we're going to glue, and although this is going to be stitched, um, it's only going to be stitched on three sides, and I don't want this to peel away. So I'm going to be using uh, contact cement for this, and contact cement generally the way it's applied, applied to both sides let it sit until it becomes tacky, and then you can uh, permanently bond them. sit for a little bit put a hefty amount of glue there probably a little more than I needed to 
And like I said, we're gonna wait until these get uh, tacky. And this is just about tacky now. And I'm just gonna lay them down. My goal here is to really work out any of the wrinkles. Um, and try to avoid, luckily this is an part that we're not gonna use, try to avoid, especially on these softer leathers, getting the glue on the top because that is most likely going to stain it and it'll permanently have a little glue spot there. In a few minutes. Let's see. Yeah, Benny. It's nice. So I actually do really like the size of this wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use these measurements. So for this, it was just four by two and a half, and I'm going to cut that out. And I'm gonna try. I want to keep this up and down as best I can, which looks like I cut that pretty straight. up this is I'm really liking this design I am really liking it You know, it's funny, as I'm sitting here stitching this, I'm realizing I forgot my favorite uh, design element of this, and that is the cut across here. So I'm going to cut and uh, match up with one of those stitch holes and then uh, just finish the stitch. No going back. So I am really happy with how this came out. It was a little bit, uh, you know, negotiating, little finagling to get these in that first time, but this will loosen up 
and I think this is absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for uh, tuning in today. I'm really happy with how this came out. Uh, I think I'm going to clean up the rest of the garage off camera so that I can just get right to making more videos like this. Um, I am really happy how this came out. I think it's really cool. I think it's really funky, really unique. And uh, I mean, it just took me a few hours in the afternoon. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll uh, see you next time.